Hello guys, welcome to this 10th episode of the Built a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using, using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday. For viewing the completed application in action with a few of the functionalities, please watch the introduction video in part 1 with the link in the description of this video. In my previous episode, I walked through editing the app settings.json file to include the connection string for the database. In this episode, I shall discuss the error logging in the Web API project using Serilog NuGet package. Serilog is a newer logging framework for .NET. The problem with log files is that they use unstructured text data. This makes it hard to query them for any sort of useful information. As a developer, it would be nice to be able to filter all the logs by a certain customer number or a transaction number. The goal of structured logging is to solve these sorts of problems and allow additional analytics. So Serilog was built with structured logging in mind and makes it easy to record custom object properties and even output your logs to JSON. So in this series of tutorials, all the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones. So it is the building of code base. Hence, it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before viewing this one. The essential links and SQL scripts, as again, you will find in the video description and I will request you to view the entire video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. And every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in uploads. So let's switch over to Web API login. So logging, in this case, I will restrict it to logging of the error or exceptions. So by the end of this lecture, we shall know how to include the serilog. I'll be including a few packages from a uh, third party NuGet package serilog in the web API and configure app settings.json and startup.cs file startup class to include the serilog logging packages. And in this application, we shall implement error logging to external files by using serilog NuGet packages for the Web API project. The strategy is to handle the error within the methods on the Web API repositories and write to the log file. So I'll be soon embarking upon creating the repository. So before that, it will be good that I will tell you the integration of serilog for logging and there are certain advantages of serilog and I will put in the resources. Okay, so when the client MVC application calls the web API but doesn't get the expected response to generate the requisite views, the log files need to be inspected to understand this behavior. All right, so I'll be, as I have shown you the finished product, so the MVC client was calling on the web API and if you look into some of the functionalities, you will find that some of the expected behavior of the um, entire application, which where the MVC client gets its response from the web API. If the web API handles those errors and it logs those errors, and if that expected behavior on the client side is not achieved, like in terms of the browser rendering of some form or some information, then you need to inspect the log files. And this may most likely to happen on the database side and so undertake any corrective action as per the logs. Now in case there is no return customer or order without any DB error from the query, with say for example if you are searching by an ID, a particular ID for the customer and order and there is no such customer or order exists with that ID, still a browser will tell the users of this and the application will not fall over. So I will carry on in the next lecture about the actual integration part of the serilog and the required, required configuration changes. So till that lecture, thank you very much. Come back again to join me.